train could not run without an engine. All train has an engine. But the Vande Bharat Express train can run without an engine. This is the country's first engineless train. Today, in this video, we will explain the working function of this train. The Vande Bharat train is powered by a self-propulsion module. That means, it consists of the electric multiple units or AMU that work as self-drive coaches. For example, hope you have seen this kind of local train, all are AMU coaches. Here, the traction motors are fitted with these bogies thus, the train does not require any separate locomotive. There are four cars in each unit, and among them, two are motor coaches. Total, eight MC coaches out of 16 coaches. The motor coach is fitted with three-phase traction motor. So, the power is needed for the traction motor to propulsion. The electricity comes from the OHE by the pantograph. The pantograph is mounted on the roof of the trailer coach, TC. It collects the electricity from overhead OHE and sends it to the traction transformer. The transformer is an electrotechnical element of the whole traction system, which is in charge to propel the train. Each motor coach consists of two lines and traction converter units or LTC. These are mounted under sling, one for each bogey. Each LTC cubicle consists of one line converter and one traction inverter. Line converter input is connected to the single phase AC of the traction transformer. The output of the line converter is connected to DC link capacitors. This DC link is connected to the traction converter, and it converts this DC voltage into AC voltage of variable voltage, and variable frequency, VVVF, and these three phase outputs shall be connected to two traction motors. Here, traction motor is suspended with a bogey frame, and the gear is mounted with axle. The motor shaft and traction gearbox input shaft are connected by a coupling that transfers torque and finally wheels rotate. There is an auxiliary converter unit is provided under sling in each TC coach of a basic unit which is supply all power requirements in that basic unit. Three phase 415 volts loads, 110 volts DC to provide supply to various loads. Next, a 20 kV isolation transformer is provided in each coach to convert 415 volts AC supply to 230 volts AC and 110 volts AC. 230 volts AC supply is used for pantry related loads and toilet related loads like a shaver and hand dryer. 110 volts AC supply is used for laptops and mobile charging for passengers. Hope. You have learned the concept of the Vande Bharat train propulsion system. And, if you think this video is helpful, say, yes, and share it. Let's grow up. Never stop learning.